guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of Skip to Low. First, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is giving me like double wears Prada vibes. Like she's supposed to be Miranda Priestly. <laughs> Even though in the end, that is the older hair. But still, I love Miranda Placey vibes. So, um, <clears throat> I am glad that all of you were happy about that, aka have an episode one and two come out, because, like, I originally recorded that, I think, what, Saturday or Sunday? One of the two, I don't really remember, I was busy. Um, and I was just like, yeah, this has got to be the last one, I was like, I, can't, I have no more time. But, yeah, I'm so happy you guys are enjoying it. She's not going to wear that flower crown until the last episode. Signs are pointing to Yaz. I mean, she is standing in front of the door. <laughs> Just like shallow players. <laughs> I mean, you just try. There's nothing wrong with trying. <laughs> I mean, in a way, like, Yuzu does give me kind of God with vibes, but just, like, she's more just the toned down type. Like, she's not all the way out there, but oh my god. <laughs> but still, she's still best girl. So. <laughs> um, 
done my thing. <laughs> she was an alien. Something's better than nothing. Well, babe, you just multi talent, multi balance, mm -hmm. multi toss. That's the word I'm looking for. True, you are right about that. That literally looks like my life right now between work. And work number two. <laughs> You're like, man, they're trying to kill me. No! <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Well, because she wants to be friends. Um, well, remember, she's, you know, just a small town gal. Sure, you are right about that. Your girl will always go for a limited something. <laughs> <laughs> I love how both of them instantly are thinking her thing. Comparing her to a baby chick. I was so cute. <laughs> No. We don't need everybody knowing that I am an actor.
Yeah. There's going to be some things that you like that your friends don't like, and that's okay. Switch it the other way. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> Aww. It's a cute sweater. Uh oh. I'm not really into checkered pants like that. <gasps> No, you need to coordinate. Please. That's a little too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody coming. Yeah, of course, we could like, yes, let me invite myself as well. There we go. That's so much better. Aww. It does. It really should even. Oh, yeah, we don't count y'all. We do not count y'all. Is Yuzu coming as well? I mean, the outfit is gorgeous. I like it. The skirt's pretty. Yeah, where's Izu? 
Now that, love it. 10 out of 10, best outfit, best girl. Uh, it moves. Literally, now I want to go back and take a picture of that and be like, yes, put that on my Pinterest board. <laughs> Oh, Mika, you still look pretty, babe. Yeah, but I felt like, once again, he just has eyes for Sumi. And try. <laughs> bye, bye. Come on. Mm. That's okay. Some people just, you know, slowly but surely bring that out of you. It's it's okay to be shy. Hell, I'm shy. <laughs> I'm assuming it's okay. How do we strike conversation right now? Help. No. <laughs> uh... mm, it's sweet and salty.
Oh, you sure? Come on! I feel like it's an easy place to get lost in, just like in New York City in Times Square. Good episode. It was so good that it changed my life. <laughs> okay, so our, our new little character that we met today, Miss, you know, glasses with the braid. She's really adorable, but very shy. I feel like slowly but surely her being in this group of friends she's gonna come out of her shell and you know what like i said as someone who is also shy it does take us a little minute for us to slowly but surely come out of our shells and it's really more about us being comfortable around a person and there are some people that i have met who still to this day are really confused on the whole shyness thing it's just about the feeling, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you meet someone and they're a little too much. You don't know how they're going to feel about you currently right now. I've met some people who didn't really like me at first because either I have a, <laughs> I have a <laughs> resting bitch face look. I really do. People always think when I look at them, I'm pissed are peeved or something and I'm like no I, I'm just like sometimes I'll just be sitting here thinking but it looks like I'm making a resting bitch face at them and it's like I have a problem with them no like at least talk to me first and then get to know my ass because that has happened to me how that happened to me a lot in high school and such I had people come up to me and think they had like I had a problem with them just because I was looking at them in a certain way. And I'm like, hold up, just because I am looking at you a certain type of way doesn't really mean I have a problem with you. I may not agree with what you do or how you do it, but that doesn't mean I have a problem with you. And the next, you know, we turn into a beautiful friendship in a weird way. And then, you know, we're older and we think about, well, yeah, remember the first time we met? <laughs> But normally, I am very, I'm a very shy gal to myself, and like I said, even with her, it takes us a little bit to warm up to somebody. We're trying to figure out um, how comfortable we are around someone, and once we are comfortable around that person, that's when we're a completely different person. I feel like we turn into social butterflies, and we're just talkative. Like, when I go to a, like... um when I used to go to some of my mom's like Zoom events, I was very quiet. Like, I, I mean, like I was associating with some older adults as an adult myself, but I was still, even as an adult now, to myself. I was on my phone a lot and such. And then if my phone died, I would just be like, fuck my life. Now I have to talk to people. <laughs> and yeah, not many people are going to like some of the same things that I like and such. Um, I think it's even awkward, especially when I was a kid growing up, um, because majority of my parents' friends had little kids. Um, it was really extremely, I'll say hard to um, find someone else my age, especially. Like, I, I had friends who were around the same age as me, but because my parents' friends didn't really have as much kids who were at the same age as me um it's always extremely awkward because sometimes like i did want to hang out with the kids and just be like 
you know, hey, I'll play with them, talk to them, you know, read them a bedtime story and stuff. But then after that, I'm just going to sit and watch TV. Or sometimes the whole entire time I was there, I was just watching TV and on my phone. As a teenager should. Same thing with an adult. Sometimes I do that shit. I don't really care. <laughs> but I really thought it was sweet that her and Yuzu, like, finally, you know, meshed together. I thought it was really sweet. I really want to see more episodes focusing on their friendship and their bond and such. Seeing Sumi, like be super excited about the limited edition Starbucks drink is super cute. It just makes me want to go to Japan right now and go get something limited edition, but you know, I am all the way here in America. Can't really go on a freaking plane right now and buy... how many hours is it? I'm guessing it's like 7 to 13 hours. I, I don't know, I have to do the- I have to go back and look. But, whoo! <laughs> Um, I love in a way Mika kind of got a little, like, no, hella self-conscious once Yuzu came in. Because once again, best girl served in her looks. Like, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. The outfit was gorgeous. Like, I'm not saying Mika's was bad. It was still good. It's just, once again, Yuzu outshined her. And I feel like we're going to see a moment where we're possibly going to get another confrontation between these two in the next up and coming weeks. I'm not 100% sure on that, but your girl wants to see that. Your girl loves the drama at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that's my action free towards episode three of Skip to Loafer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode four. Bye, guys.